for like a brief second, I thought I was going to do the uh, opening to, uh, is the Charlie Brown Christmas is a premiere tonight? Oh, now, apparently it was actually on last week, but again, I never know when it's on. But, apparently, because, um, well, apparently it was on last week, didn't realize it, but I know for a fact it's going to be on ABC tonight, cannot wait to watch it. And I was about to start the video doing, like, the, like, the opening, like, Christmas time is here. I thought about doing that, but I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want to get, like, a flag or anything. You know, I'll probably just get flagged. But see, oh, let's be honest, people are getting flagged all over the place on YouTube, so. I could probably just mention that people are getting flagged all over the place, and that's going to get me flagged. Oh, well. That's life, I guess. I mean, I guess you could probably talk about, um, you know, copper for a little bit. Um... For those of you guys who don't really know, COPPA is actually part of an act that, um, you know, YouTube is enacting to make sure that um, videos are, you know, safe for children. It stands for the Children's, uh, Children's Online Privacy Protection Rule Act. So, yeah. Um, Protection Act. So, yeah. Um... Basically, before I upload a video, I need to talk to specify whether or not the videos I make are um, for children. Which, I mean, I'll be honest, I would say, no, they're not solely made for the sake of, you know, entertaining children. But at the same time, and I said this before, a child could watch this especially with their parent and, you know, be none the worse for wear out of it. So, yeah. So, I mean, again, I try and keep things, you know, civil. I try and keep things appropriate when making these videos just because of stuff like this. I mean, and for the most part, I definitely feel it's worth. I mean, like, again, yeah, we live in a day and age where someone's going to be complaining that I'm wearing this hat. Even though it's the month of December and pretty much everyone else would be wearing this hat. If they had the opportunity to do so. But in the end, you know, use your best judgment whether or not, you know, you want to have... I mean, if you're, I mean, if you're a parent and you're watching this, you know, you're more than welcome to use your best judgment as to whether or not you can at least watch the videos that I make. Because, again, you're the parent. And you need to decide what's best for your children. And, you know, whatever you decide, you know, I'm totally, I mean, I'm totally for, you know, parents being protective of their kids. What I'm against is when they're being overprotective. That's when, that's when it gets to be a little much. Believe me, I know that feeling all too well. Yeah, my mom was very uh, overprotective, but that's, that's a story for a different day. Um... So, with that being said, happy Thursday, everybody. Yes, it is Thursday today. And I'll be off. <sighs> For the first time, I don't really need to worry about what game is going to be on tonight because I know what game is going to be on tonight. It's going to be my Cowboys versus the Bears. Now, this is honestly like the third week in a row where under normal circumstances, I would be saying that this is a pretty hard decision to make. But... My Cowboys need to win division, so this one's easy to do. Go Cowboys! Sorry, Bears fans. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, my Cowboys can actually win their division, get a home playoff game. Now, if it makes you feel any better, we probably won't get very far. But this is a game that we absolutely need to win tonight. We need to win tonight. We need to win against the Rams a week later. We really got to win against Philadelphia. And around the weekend of my birthday, play the Redskins. So, well, that's going to be a win we can get. I get the feeling 9-7 may very well be the winner of the division for the NFC East. I just have a feeling that's what it's going to come down to. And my Cowboys are playing absolutely terrible. They are. They, they, they totally are. I'm a little upset by that because our team... 
has more than enough talent to really be better than that, but we're just not. Maybe we'll fire Jason Garrett. I don't know. We'll have to have to see, I guess. So, um, well, since today is Thursday, you know, we have the new episode of Hot Ones Day featuring the guest stars of John Boyega, which I need to think about this for a second because I want to say today will be the season finale of season 10 of Hot Ones. You know, you, I mean, it's early, I mean, it's early December, you know, as of today, you'll have almost an entire month before, you know, we get to uh, 2020. And season 11 of Hot Ones, ringing in the new year, for that matter, ringing in the new decade, would be pretty, um, would be pretty special. Now, I could be wrong about this. In fact, Hot Ones doesn't really need to take that long of a break to facilitate the length of time between seasons. I mean, I've seen them come back in as soon as two weeks. I think it was two weeks. I think it was three. Well, two weeks, not including the finale, that is. So, well... Actually, you know, I take it back three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. That, um, that's how long it was. Because they would do, I mean, they would do a Hot Ones Q&A. They would do the, um, Hot Sauce reveal. And depending or not whether, and depending whether or not they decide to do, uh, several episodes of Truth or Dab, they would immediately go right into the next season. So, let's say they do the Q&A next week. Reveal the hot sauces the following week. So that would theoretically mean right before the year is up, that's when season 11 begins. So, yeah. That does remind me, though, I should probably get another list going of uh, another 10 celebrities or guest stars I personally want to see on Hot Ones. Because you know, I did that last time. I think it worked out pretty well. I'll do it again. So... I mean, unfortunately, for the life of me, I can't remember who I said last time. So it's very likely that some of my choices will be overlapping. But I'm sure someone online out there who's paying attention to every single little detail of the history of the Internet is going to be like, Oh, you said that last time, but you said it here. Well, if nothing else, at least I explained I don't remember who I said last time. So, you know, there's that. Um, I mean, yeah, this is... um. This hat is just slightly bigger than my head, so I gotta hold it back like like this kind of, kind of like like a shower cap kind of something. There we go. That works. There we go. Keep it uh, keep it to the side. Oh, well, someone's probably thinking he's covering his ears. Can you even hear? It? Yes, I can hear. I mean, I am the only person in this apartment at this time. Making this video, there is nobody else around. So, we're good. Everything is a-okay. Um, so, yesterday I had talked about um, how a, a guy I watch online called the Mysterious Mr. Enter is doing a Nickel Rama where he's doing like all the Nicktoons. And yesterday he actually got to Rocco's Modern Life. And I gotta say... I mean, maybe I just know how to pick people who think like me in terms of who I want to watch. But his thoughts on Rock is Modern Life are very similar to mine. Like, I loved it when I was a kid. And I liked watching it a lot. But I love it as an adult now. Because when you think about it, Rock is Modern Life, for all intents and purposes, is about, you know, your first couple of years on your own. You know, in a new place. You know, learning about, you know, life in general and stuff like that. And that's pretty cool. I mean, with that being said, I mean, I did talk about Static Cling a while back, which was a great, you know, Netflix special. I love that special. You know, I might actually go watch it again just, just because. Though I wouldn't be able to do it today because I have a Tribe Christmas special and uh, 
the football game to watch tonight. Um, if my Cowboys are losing, maybe I'll watch Dairy Queen. I don't know. Depending on how late it is. But um, since Static Cling is already out and since uh, enough time has passed for me to be able to talk about this, I suppose, I guess I can say this. There's a part in the movie where um, Ralph Bickhead comes out as, you know, transgender. And now she goes by Rachel. And a lot of people were really up in arms about that. And Mr. Enter said something yesterday that I think resonated with me pretty well because it's exactly what I was thinking. The, those who were complaining about, you know, Ralph coming out as Rachel and they were like up in arms saying, oh, it's awful, oh, either don't remember how the show worked or were completely out of their mind. Because Rock is My Life talked about issues like that a lot. They were subtle about it. I mean, for God's sakes, at some point, the 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 uh, studio told them, you know, bring a female character who has a hook. So what do they do? They give us Dr. Hutchinson, a female doctor who has a hook for a hand. So, yeah. That being said, though, if you are going to watch um, The Rock is Modern Life, I mean, everyone says that Wacky Deli is the best episode, and I have to agree. But I wouldn't watch that episode first. I would watch... I mean, to be perfectly honest, if you're going to watch Static Cling, don't just simply jump into Static Cling. I would watch a good majority of the series before jumping into Static Cling. Specifically, the movie, specifically, if you are going to watch Static Cling, the episodes I would recommend would be um, I Have No Son, Wacky Deli, and um, Son of a Gun. What was the name of that one episode? Hold on. And one, there's one more episode. Um, uh, Future Schlock. That's what the episode I'm thinking of is. So, yeah, there you go. Future Schlock, Wacky Dally, and I Have No Son are like the big episodes that I recommend to watch before watching Static Clay. But I would recommend, I mean, I was actually lucky. I was blessed to have seen pretty much all of Rock and Martin Life way back when it was on back then. So I was able to jump right into Static Cling as if nothing happened or nothing changed at all. And as I said before, that was a hoot. So, yeah. I wonder what Nick Tooney's going to be talking about next. I mean, there's actually quite a few we could talk about. We could talk about Our Real Monsters, The Wild Thornberries, The Angry Beavers. There's a lot you can do. Personally, hmm. If I'm mysterious, Mr. Enter, what show am I talking about next? That's hard to say. I mean, maybe? I'm trying to, because it's been like forever since I've seen like all of the Nicktoons. I mean, it'd be too soon to do something like yeah, I was told by Ginger, which was also a really good show. But again, why did Klasky Koopo animate that show? Whatever. Um, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to see about that. Although now that I am referring to this, maybe I should talk about, um, you know, maybe I should put links in the description of all these below so you can follow along with me. That'd be pretty cool, huh? So, yeah, that would, um, that'd be pretty interesting to do and say or talk about. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Uh, well, you know what? I really always keep forgetting to mention this, but I'm not going to forget that here. And, um, if you remember around a year ago, I started off, well, actually, you know what? I'll wait until tomorrow to talk about that. I'll, I'll wait until tomorrow. If I can remember now, I can totally wait until tomorrow. I'm probably going to forget tomorrow because of it. Oh, such is my life. But it's a good life. Not a great life, but a good one. I'm okay with that. Like, favorite, share, and hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications on YouTube. Follow me on the social media platforms at your leisure. I am 
very humbled I made this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for today. I am hopeful we have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. You ready to watch some hot ones or football? Or if you're like me, do both. Or you know, watch Charlie Brown Christmas special. That's gonna be out tonight. Can't wait to watch that. And remember, if you guys don't want to talk or chat, I'm always gonna be here to lend an ear. I'll always have your back, take care, and make good choices. You know, I forgot, I also forgot to mention on a Charlie Brown Christmas special, Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas is Sally. Your mind is now blown. See ya!